You live here in Cremona, I live in France, and a lot of people cannot make that trip to their original maker, but they have the luthier in their hometown. How often should they take their instrument in for servicing? Ha, good question. I would love to see them all every month at least once, but actually I don't have that much time. So to please, minimum. please stay home. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. But at least I would say, you know, if you happen to Cremona and you, you, you pass by with your instruments which you bought from me, I, I'm, I'm always happy. He did it and I'm happy and he's also happy and I'm sure he will be happy once he's back home. I say treat your cello like a human or your dog. How would you, or your cat, what you love. <laughs> Your thoughts uh, on... I agree completely with this. I also made a few videos on it and actually I talked more about how, to, right how here. to... Huh? So you can... I'm going to link it right here yeah. in your yeah. video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it is more about uh, flying, but actually now when I think about traveling, means also out of your lesson, going back home, car, uh, whatever, never leave your instrument on the sunlight. Uh, Further on, I would even recommend take a white case. I know it doesn't look that fancy than a black case, but a black one is at least 70 uh, degrees warmer inside than a white one. So that makes a difference if you just think inside is your baby uh, warming up. And the pack certainly cannot keep this uh, climate change, temperature, humidity change, whatever, in the case when it's exposed to sunlight. So I would just follow this uh, advice from uh, you and just stick on it. Keep it as, as your, your, your best friend. Uh, there's a discussion on Reddit about cleaning your instrument. Some people use alcohol on the strings. I am of the school that um, nothing but maybe a damp cloth touching your strings ever, ever goes on the instrument. What is your recommendation for those at home that want to clean their cellos? Now, I, I, would, I always love to see clean instruments. That shows already that you love your instrument. So playing and then just putting back, playing, putting back and never clean. I think this is a little bit tough. It is like cooking in your kitchen and never cleaning. Come on clean a little bit. But on the other side, you know, at the Varnish Seminar in the year 2000 in Puerto Rico, there was a guy showing a violin, a modern violin, which had a very strange white spot on the back. And that was made because the guy took the, vi the, the violin like this and then put it into a silk bag. And he did it every time. And every day he did like this. And so the varnish was consumed by these two fingers. So now you imagine if you would play every time and then you take a rag and you start cleaning every time you play it. It's certainly not good. I will also very soon arrive with a nice cleaning pro um, product which you can buy on my online store because there are so many very nasty, too aggressive products. And still, even if mine now will be the best on the market, don't do it every day because you just consume your varnish. Well, well, and so this is no... Well, when it comes to that, you still, you're a professional. If even I bought your professional cleaning product, I don't know how to professionally apply it. Yes, but no, you can take a rag, then don't never put it on the instrument, certainly, please, come Who's on. Who's there to teach me? I, I will teach you. Okay. I, I will teach you. Look at my channel and okay. those tiny details. Put it on a rag, away from the instrument, and then slowly start cleaning. But you do that once a month once every two months, but not every day. With the strings, cleaning it with alcohol, I agree. It's the only and the most efficient way to clean your strings. Now, to avoid to clean it too often with, uh, uh, or to clean it uh, wrong with uh, alcohol, after cleaning, after playing, just pass with your microfiber rag and that's it. And from time to time, let's say after a few months, you can also clean the strings. But at that point, please have your rag far away from the cello, put a little bit of alcohol on it, put down the bottle of alcohol far away of your instrument, then go slowly there and then clean it. 
otherwise you're just taking off your nice precious varnish and this is a disaster. So actually, it's a risk I'm not going to take with my with your cello. With I appreciate, cello. but if somebody is talking and swearing about it somewhere on the internet, I, it's correct. I do it, but I'm a violin maker. You're a professional. But if you are at home and some, something happens because one of your children or somebody doesn't know enough whop and uh, I think it's just a risk which you, when you do it, you have to know there is a certain risk. Okay? Yes, and that's a risk so, some of us are not willing to take. So maybe it's better to, to follow his advice, but still I don't... I take it to the luthier okay. and yeah. they do the cleaning. I do the cleaning. We could talk forever. It's getting a little darker. I just want to thank you so much for taking <laughs> time for me. And I hope you love my cello because it is dirty. <laughs> and it's well so loved. Dirty. Actually, you, you, somehow you have to clean it because I, wipe it. I think it's in perfect conditions. And I'm happy that it is in such a good family and is kept in with a lot of uh, appreciation. And uh, no, it's, I'm, I'm very happy. Well, I'm glad that I was able to make this trek here. You know, later on this week, I'm going to get it back. I'll love to see what happens to it. And we'll do a little more talks about little things like that. But thank you again. We're going to have some food here because it's been sitting here. And yeah, they're hungry, food. you know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Edgar, okay. so much for doing this. And uh, You're welcome. I'm happy. Thank you. Bye-bye.